Hey guys, it's Tansy the Trophy, and I just want to say I love you all, and I'm coming back. I know I haven't been consistent, but I won't make any excuses, but I will tell you this. I'm sorry. Lately, I've been dealing with feelings of doubt, regret, pain, and feeling empty. And I just, I just, God bless you. Sorry, my dog barking. It's just sneeze. You always want to get in there when I'm making a video. You got to go somewhere and sit down. Sorry, guys. But, yeah. My dog, he's really been helping me to feel um, loved. That and my God, the Lord Jesus Christ. I haven't been reading my Bible like I should. But I have been praying. And I've been praying hard. Guys, recently I got into a situation with a loved one and I ended up getting hurt physically but it's okay I still love them I just pray they change cuz like I've done so much for them I've done so much for a lot of people that I love dearly yet they act as though I'm the enemy and it hurts guys it really hurts and I started thinking about all the people who hurt me. And I think about it and I internalize it. And I'm like, wow, I must be this evil person. I must be insignificant. And guys, I hate to put this out there, but somebody needs to hear this. It's just sometimes I feel like people are demonized. Like... They are really going through it, and they take it out on me. And I just feel like I deserve it, and then I also feel like I don't deserve it. It's like a dual personality that I have. One minute, I feel like I'm on top of the world. I feel like I can do anything. I'm calm, cool, collected. I love myself. I can look in the mirror and say, wow, you're beautiful. I feel myself. And in a, like, not in a minute, but in a second, I look in the same mirror and I just nitpick everything that's wrong with me. From my size to my, even my skin tone, my acne, my hair. Like, guys, I go in on myself as though I wasn't even a person that's valued and lovable. Guys, please don't be like me and just down yourself because you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are significant. Anybody out there that's thinking about suicide, just know you are worth it. Everything that has happened to you has prepared you for this very moment. And I believe that for myself. Don't allow this world, people, mean, evil, twisted people to hurt you. Don't allow it to go to your heart. I am a kind of person where I keep my heart on my sleeves. But now I'm about to put it in back in between my bosom and my chest. And to guard it like a castle. Because it is that precious. I'm tired of having my heart on my sleeve where it's not on my sleeve, it's on my wrist. And people are literally cutting my wrist. They're slicing and dicing my own flesh. my Even my spiritual flesh. So yeah, guys. I have dealt with some very narcissistic people. I come from a family. Of narcissistic people. I've been with friends. Lovers. Narcissistic. As an empath. And yes guys I am an empath. If you are new to my channel. I sense things. I feel things very strongly. And me. I can sense 
somebody's emotions and I'll start to feel them as though they were my own. If somebody is feeling depressed and yet they're smiling at me, all of a sudden I will become depressed. Even though their personality seems as though they're not depressed. I can see between the lines. And I try hard not to let it bother me. But in the past, but now it's like, okay, Tansy, you have a gift. And you need to use it. I think to myself, there are some forces in this world, in spiritual wickedness and high places, that does not want me to exist. Guys, I have dealt with suicidal thoughts, feeling one minute like I can do this, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I'm putting my all into my life, and putting out these videos, and then the next minute, I just feel dark, like I'm ready to jump off a bridge or something, like for real. Like, I just don't want to matter anymore because I, in the end, I never thought I did. But guys, I, like I said, I don't want you to feel that way. And it all starts within your mind. And sometimes physically. For me, positive self-talk, affirmations, getting out into the world and seeing stuff besides my enclosed room and being in the house because I am an introvert so my favorite place to be is in my room or somewhere peaceful in nature by myself but that's not just that's not the only way to live it says in the bible it's not good for man to be alone we need friendships and and community and somebody to lift our heads when we can't lift them ourselves so I look at um, physical and mental pro mental problems. Like doctors are so quick to diagnose people with mental problems, like bipolar and um, PTSD and all kinds of ADHD and autism and stuff. But what they don't sometimes people like have health problems to where they're like, say they got rheumatoid arthritis and it's painful and they get depressed. I have friends that have that, or say they have cancer, and they're in pain, and they have to go through all these chemos, therapy, and they're weak, and they're depressed. It's not always that scenario, but I think about it, and a lot of times physical things can actually affect your health, mentally. Me, I found out that I have a hormonal imbalance. All these years, I've been getting diagnosed with different things from different doctors. But it turns out, they put me on all these different medications to help me, but it didn't help me. But one day, I went on Google, right? I went on Google, and I Googled my symptoms that I've been having. And since I was a teenager, when I first got um, my period... It's like my whole life shifted for a whole week out of the month. No, for a whole, yeah, for a week out of the month, I was suicidal and, so, uh, dare I say it, a little bit homicidal. One week out of each month, I did not want to live. And that's because of my period. So once I got older, I looked back and I realized what was happening to me. And what was happening was, like I said, I had a hormonal imbalance. My body produces more testosterone than it's supposed to. And testosterone in women, both men and women, have different levels of testosterone and estrogen. But the testosterone made my aggression, my mood swings, exasperate. It made it even worse. Like, imagine... PMS, but times 10, like, I would dread my period, because I knew in the week before my period, where it's like, I was angry, I was sad, I was depressed, wanting to kill myself, 
wanting to be delivered, praying to God. But once I Googled my symptoms, because it seems like my doctors, I, I respect them and I, I thank God for them. But unless you tell them, they won't know. And if they do know, they're not trying to give you the best unless you have the best insurance. So, my symptoms were I was losing my hair and I was losing my um, high voice. And my voice has gotten very deep. It's like I can talk to people and sometimes I think it's funny. Like I'll say somebody's name from afar and I'll sound just like a man. So it causes deep deep voice. It causes hair loss where I would lose hair on my sides. That's why on my channel you'll see me getting mohawks. Because I get tired looking in the mirror and seeing bald spots on my edges when... I have done nothing to hurt my edges. And I also realized that um, ag aggression, painful periods. I one time had a cramp that hurt so bad I passed out. Literally, I fell on my bed and heard a loud ringing sound in my head. And I was out for a while. <laughs> That's how bad it was. So, that's what's been going on with me, guys. I, I have a new medication. It's called Spirulactone. I got on that. And I kid you not, it was a pill from God. When I got on that, my depression has been in check for the past year. As soon as I got on that medication, it was just dealt with I could I didn't say I wouldn't get sad but I could come out of it it wouldn't be in my mind to go straight to suicide or I'd be determined to really take my life but um now the spirit lactone helps and it's such a blessing because all the medicines that I've been put on for um uh mental illnesses and psycho psychotic um stuff once I got on spirit lactone all of that just stopped and it's crazy because it's a blessing because now I don't have to take as much medication I'm down three pills that I used to take that helped me with um mental issues and now I'm on, instead of being on six pills, I'm on like, um, let's see, about three. And it's just amazing. I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for helping me because I was desperate, guys. I just wanted relief. But yeah, guys. And ladies, if you're out there and you feel some type of way, you may have a testosterone disorder. Or you may have an estrogen disorder. Either way, ladies, if you feel that something is not right within you, get your hormones checked. See, and please, guys, do not let these doctors make a test, uh, a guinea pig out of you. It is called practicing medicine for a reason. But some people have allergic reactions to certain medications. Some type of way you may have a testosterone disorder. Or you may have an estrogen disorder. Either way, ladies, if you feel that something is not right within you, get your hormones checked. See, and please, guys, do not let these doctors make a test, uh, a guinea pig out of you. It is called practicing medicine for a reason, but some people have allergic reactions to certain medications. I have had a reaction to certain medications that were not good. So yeah, if it if it doesn't seem right, and I always tell my um, closest relatives when I feel when I get on a, some type of new medication, just in case something happens to me or I have an allergic reaction, they'll be aware of it. So yeah, um, guys, at least now you know what's been going on with me, and. 
I just want you to know that I want to be consistent with my YouTube. I want to give you more than just hair tutorials. I'll give them to you because I know a lot of people started watching my channel because of that. Lately, I've been wanting to wear wigs to grow my hair. And I've also been wanting to um, just be free to do what I want. Like, I, there's so many subjects I would love to talk about, to encourage people and to help people, my YouTubers and other people around the world, because I know it can, it can manifest as so much more than what I'm doing right now, because I, I believe I was put here for a reason. And that reason is to help people like me. You see, I want to help people that feel like me, who feel undesirable, who feel insignificant, who have been hurt, who have been depressed, who have been mentally and physically and emotionally and spiritually, yes, that's a lot, abused. I want to help people that are that are the same complexion as me or people that are brown skinned girls that look in the mirror and just think wow I'm ugly I want to help people that have been bullied people good people that think they're not worth it anymore or that they're not worthy of love because guys bullying really lowered my self esteem I've been in positions where from elementary school to college, I was bullied. I kid you not. And I would do a story on that. I went to this story, but I deleted it. It's like, I deleted a lot of stories that were negative that I had put out there because I was insecure after I posted these real videos telling how I feel and how life is beating me down. But I may just repost them, guys, because you need to know that I can identify with you. Okay? Not everybody's sad, depressed, or has effed up situations. But I know one thing, we're all human and none of us are perfect. So thanks guys for watching my, well, eh, for reading? No, yeah. Okay, how about for, um, watching? No, not watching. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm getting confused. Because I'm going to, this is a voiceover, so you'll be watching a video or footage of me during this voiceover. So, yeah, um, watching and listening, there you go. Thanks for hearing me out, and please, guys, be your best self. F all those other people that don't want to see you happy. I think about the people that don't support me, loved ones, family, friends, that I thought were friends that are backstabbers. And guys, I will say, I was told to kill myself recently by an ex, and that hurt. But I was strong enough to be like, look, I love me. I'm kind, I'm beautiful, I'm smart, and you actually think I'm going to take myself out? Just because you say so, you got nothing coming. In the past, I probably would have done it. But I thank God I didn't. God, I just want to leave this right here. Jesus Christ is the one and only true and living God. And he loves me and you. And we're all created with his purposes. Seek Jesus' face. Call out to him. He doesn't want to hurt you. He doesn't want to judge you. Even though he is the ultimate judge, he died on that cross because we were supposed to die on the cross. He opened the gateway to miracles, abundance, and our futures. Guys, if you just trust him, he will deliver you. He's delivering me. It starts within my mind, and it starts within your heart. All of us must give in to Jesus 
and let him take control and have faith. But also to work in that faith. We are not waiting for the victory, but we are living from victory. Guys, walk in your calling. And to all those who are not religious or Christians, I love you. And hey, you don't have to believe in Jesus Christ to be on my channel or to be somebody that I care about as a subscriber and as a friend. I have friends that are of all religious backgrounds, and I listen to them, and I hear them out. I don't judge. I don't press my religion on them. So guys, y'all don't have to worry about that. Just know I'm going to live my truth. Y'all have a blessed day once again. Bye. I'll be back, good old guys. I'm Tansy the Trophy. And I'm out. Bye. Mwah. Some type of way you. as well as Tansy Time TV and um yeah please follow me I have two YouTube channels one is Tansy the Trophy and the other one is Tansy Time TV please follow me I will follow back if you ask or I'm able to visibly see that you followed me if that's the case then I will most definitely follow you back and yeah guys tell me what you would like to see appreciate you for doing for just 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 for the encouragement some of you guys leave on my comments for listening to me for taking the time out of your schedule to think that hey what she has to say or the things she's doing in her videos is relevant like guys i thank god for you all sometimes this youtube channel is what keeps me going because i know i'm helping others so yeah guys live your best life tired of just living but not really living I want to be happy and I want to have fun I want these things but I gotta be willing to do what it takes to get these things and guys to let you know this that happiness is not just a, a feeling but it's a thought when you are being grateful, you have no room for anything else than happiness. And depression, anxiety, all those things that torment our minds, they'll fade away when you become grateful. And just be thankful for every single thing you have, the ability to 
walk, talk, think, your house, your family.